In the sacred scriptures, particularly in the Bible, a fascinating story is told about the longevity of the first human beings. These individuals, according to the biblical text, not only lived astonishingly long periods close to a thousand years but also experienced parenthood at advanced stages of their lives, having children even after living for hundreds of years. However, this impressive phenomenon of longevity began to change due to an increase in wickedness in the world. As a response to this moral decline, it is narrated that God decided to reduce human life expectancy. A clear example of this decrease in longevity is observed in the biblical accounts after the flood. The Bible documents a progressive decline in human lifespan from almost a thousand years to approximately 175 years, the age reached by Abraham. This video we present today delves into the fascinating theme of the men who reached the oldest ages according to the Bible. But before we immerse ourselves in this intriguing exploration, we invite you to support our content with a like, which motivates us to continue creating and sharing more material of this type. We begin our journey through the oldest men of the Bible, Lamech, described in the scriptures as one of the antediluvian patriarchs, a descendant of Adam through Seth. Lamech, son of Methuselah and father of Noah, is mentioned in the book of Genesis, the first book of Chronicles, and the Gospel of Luke within the genealogy of Jesus. The Bible records that Lamech lived 777 years, a fact we find in Genesis 5.31. Mahalalel, little is known about this biblical figure, but according to the scriptures, Mahalalel was the son of Kainan, a descendant of Adam through Seth. The name Mahalalel in Hebrew means the one who praises God. The Book of Jubilees mentions that Mahalalel married his cousin Dinah. The Bible documents that he lived 895 years, information available in Genesis 5.17. Enosh, son of Seth and grandson of Adam and Eve. Genesis 4.26 narrates that after the birth of Enosh, men began to invoke the name of Jehovah. For this reason, Enosh is considered the initiator of religious worship towards God. According to the Bible, Enosh lived 905 years, as can be read in Genesis 5.11. Kainan, son of Anash, according to the Book of Jubilees. Kainan married his sister, Muleth. In the Gospel of Luke, within the genealogy of Jesus, two men named Kainan are mentioned, one of them is the great-grandson of Noah, and the other is the son of Anash we are talking about. Kainan lived 910 years, as recorded in Genesis 5.14. Seth, the third son of Adam and Eve. Eve named Seth, which means placed, or appointed, for God had appointed Seth in replacement of Abel, who was killed by Cain. The lineage of Seth, the third son of Adam and Eve, marked a significant course in biblical history. From his line came not only the patriarchs but also the nation of Israel, and ultimately, Jesus Christ. The Bible records that Seth lived 912 years, a fact we can corroborate in Genesis 5.8. This extraordinary longevity is a notable characteristic of the early biblical times. Adam, according to both the Bible and the Quran, Adam was the first man created by God. Eden was his original home, a paradisiacal place where, according to some scholars, he lived for approximately 500 years. Genesis 2.20 narrates how Adam had the responsibility of naming all living creatures. However, with Adam also came sin to the world. After disobeying God along with his wife, Adam named his companion Eve, which means mother of all living as mentioned in Genesis 3.20. Adam lived a total of 930 years, not counting the time in the Garden of Eden, according to Genesis 5.5. Noah, Noah, who was not a son of Lamech but a descendant, 
is a central figure in the flood narrative. The Bible details that his family was composed of his wife, his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives. By divine command, Noah built an ark following divine specifications, which was a refuge for his family and pairs of all animal species during the flood. In Abrahamic traditions and Noahidism, Noah is considered the father of post-Diluvian humanity. According to the sacred texts, Noah was the tenth and last of the antediluvian super-longevity patriarchs, living 950 years, as documented in Genesis 9.29. Jared, son of Mahalalel and father of Enoch, Jared is a lesser-known biblical figure. His name means descent, or he who comes from heaven. Although the Bible does not provide many details about his life, the apocryphal book of Jubilees mentions that he married Baraka, daughter of Raziel and his cousin. Jared lived 962 years, as recorded in Genesis 5.20. Methuselah, son of Enoch, father of Lamech, and grandfather of Noah, Methuselah is known as the longest-lived human in history. He was the eighth antediluvian patriarch, and his life spanned 969 years, according to Genesis 5.27. Interestingly, Enoch, another patriarch, lived only 365 years before being taken by God, avoiding death. Exploring the era of the antediluvian patriarchs, such as Seth, Adam, Noah, Jared, and Methuselah, takes us on a fascinating journey through the early pages of human history according to the biblical narrative. These men, living lives of lengths almost incomprehensible by modern standards, represent much more than mere figures on a genealogical tree, they are symbols of deeper themes in theology and morality. The antediluvian world, populated by these patriarchs, is presented as a canvas on which stories of faith, disobedience, redemption, and the ongoing interaction between the divine and the human are painted. These figures, starting with Adam in the Garden of Eden and extending to Methuselah, whose life signals the approach of the Flood, are witnesses to the evolution of humanity's relationship with God and with each other. In each generation, from Seth to Noah, we see how divine promises, blessings, and warnings are passed down. The longevity of these patriarchs is not just a detail to astonish us, but also has symbolic and practical significance. In an era when history and law were passed down orally, living for centuries allowed these patriarchs to be custodians of collective memory and wisdom. They were the bearers of the creation story, the lessons learned in Eden, and the divine promises that would be transmitted through their descendants. In the story of Adam, we see the introduction of fundamental themes such as sin, responsibility, and the loss of innocence. With Noah, the idea of a new beginning, redemption through judgment, and the importance of obedience and faith in the face of adversity are introduced. The life of each patriarch, therefore, is not just a recount of years lived, but an integral part of a broader narrative that speaks to human nature, the relationship with the divine, and God's ongoing plan for humanity. Thus, considering these biblical figures together, we gain a richer and more nuanced view of early human history, according to the Bible. They are not just distant ancestors of future generations, but crucial characters in an ongoing narrative that sets the stage for future events in biblical history, including the rise of Israel and the eventual arrival of Christ, thereby linking humanity to its divine purpose and destiny. These men, all descendants of Adam through Seth, are prominent figures in the biblical narratives as the antediluvian patriarchs. With this video, we hope to enrich your understanding of these historical figures and their remarkable longevity. Have you ever wondered what you would do if you had a life as long as Methuselah's? We would love to read your thoughts in the comments. Now we say goodbye, 
hoping that this content has been of great value to you. Until next time, and may God bless you.